if you'd like a box for something but you're not sure how to make one but you'd like to make one because you want it just exactly the right size then I think I might be able to help you. I made this one. How do you go about building a box? Well, you know, there's, you know, just make the box, you might think. And if you've never done one, yeah, that's fine. But one of the tricks is about how to make the lid match the box. And the trick is actually to build it without, you know, it being in two halves, that, if that makes sense. So you build the, you put the top and the bottom and the sides all together, and then you cut this out. So with this particular one, well, for my musical stuff, and what I've done is, you know, I wanted it at an angle so that it was quite low at the front um, and, and not so low at the back. And the other thing I want to show you is this little catch, which um, I knocked off actually out of a bit of a broken chair. So don't throw things away. If things are broken, then you can still use them. Um, so. Yeah, I'd like to show a bit more about that. So in order to make that sort of catch thing, obviously a very, very simple idea. Just got a hinge here, I'll have a hinge here, I'll have a hinge here. This is attached to the base, this is attached to the lid. Now, the problem is that as you start to... Um, rotate it then you're going to get a collision here i mean you know if i rotate this around so you can see um you could you, there's only going to be so far you can go before you know the bits of wood are going to occupy the same space um uh, you could have them side by side entirely so that you know they're sort of arranged like that but then how are you going to connect this bit will connect nicely to the side and then there'll be a gap here it all becomes a bit clunky um, and so that's really um, what went into the, the thinking um, behind the design. And so you can see that as you put these together, um, you know, that, that will uh, slot into there. And it just so happened that I didn't have any suitable little small bolts that I wanted to join it out with. So I just used a bit of the coat hanger, just cut out some coat hanger wire and wrapped it round. I bent it into a, a kind of staple shape and then bashed it round. And that did the job. And that, that gives us all the flexibility we need. Uh, and I'm quite pleased with it.